Hello and welcome to Advancing Databricks. So we did a whole load of short videos uh, last year talking about the month of Azure Databricks and we've had a load of follow-up questions and people asking us if we can do a few more. So this is the first of our follow-up videos. We were asked if we can help people set up the command line interface for the Databricks CLI. Now if you've got Databricks and you've got the workspace, you can go in the portal, you can do a ton of things, but you can't do everything. There are one or two um, key parts of the API which are only accessible through that CLI. So how do you start with it? How do you set it up? Where do you go from there? We're going to have a look. So first things first, I'll just get onto the Databricks documentation. So docs.databricks.com slash devtools CLI index. If you just go to docs.databricks.com, there is a link there to go to the CLI if you're looking down the left hand side. Now. This is the generic AWS docs rather than the Azure ones, but they have the same information, so don't worry. The main thing is you'll get here is it tells you the Python version you need installing, it's got a link to the downloads, it's got everything you need to get started. So I'd recommend just starting there. If you've already got Python installed, then the main thing you need to do is pip install Databricks CLI. So they've registered the Databricks command line interface as a straightforward Python package. It's available via all the PyPy repository and you can just bring it down by doing pip install Databricks CLI. So that's probably your best starting point. Get your CLI set up. And then once it's working, once it's installed on your actual laptop, on your dev machine, that's what we need to look at now. How do we take your local CLI and then tell it which workspace you're working with? How do we tell it to go and talk to the particular Databricks workspace that you want to interact with? So, configuring the CLI, how do we do that? Let's take a look. Okay, so first things first, I've just got a Databricks workspace here. And there is a cluster set up, so it's currently starting up. And that's how we know we're in the right place. So if we see a cluster called My Cluster, I know that I'm connected to the right particular workspace. So there's a few things that we'll actually need to get started. So first thing first, if we go to the command prompt, we can tell that the Databricks workspace is installed by simply running Databricks. And then we see a load of commands. So we can see the various different areas that the CLI can help us out with. We can manage clusters, we can create user groups, we can do some file system commands. It's got some really useful things in terms of importing and exporting notebooks to the workspace. And very importantly, it's got secrets. And we'll look at secrets in another video. However, we're not currently connected up. This is just a generic CLI. It doesn't know how to talk to our workspace. So we're going to have to use that configure command. So Databricks configure is the one that we need, but how do we actually tell it to use it? So if we look at Databricks configure, any of these commands, you can do a dash H afterwards, and it'll give us some information about how we actually work with that. So we can see I could try and connect to it, and I'd need to give it my username and password. It does have a token mode. So token mode is great for saying I want to use a Databricks workspace token to connect rather than trying to connect as an AD user. So we're going to do that. So we need to do Databricks, configure, give it a token. I'm also going to do this thing. I'm going to give it a profile. So a profile means I can have several different Databricks workspaces hooked up to my uh, command line interface, and I can switch between them. So I can, don't have to change configuration and change a load of things. So I'm going to call this Advantage Databricks. Uh, let's call it BX. Okay, so it needs our host. So first we're going to go back, I'm going to go and grab our host name, so up to our O. So that is the region that Databricks is installed in, and it's got a unique identifier for a particular workspace. So we're just going to pop that in here. Now it's asking for our token. So if you've not set up a user token in Databricks before, it's all done on a user by user basis. So right over on the right hand side, I've got my little user going to pull him out and I can see a few bits of information and I've got user settings that can go and work there. So there's no tokens currently. I need to create a new token. I'm going to create a new token. This is for my CLI and I'm only going to create it for a day. because It doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm copying that. Again, you won't be able to use that because I've expired. And that's the one time I can see that token. So I've copied the um, string that came up and I'm not going to see it again. I'd need to create a new token if I wanted to. So then back here, I can paste that value in. Okay, and I've now configured Databricks. 
Now, I don't know that's working yet, so let's try Databricks clusters, and I can see my various different commands I can see here. I'm going to do Databricks clusters list, and I need to remember to do my profile, and that was ADV BRX. Now I'm going to use my new token, and I can see my cluster is running. So I successfully set up my local CLI, I created a profile, and it now knows how to talk to my particular workspace. And that's all you need to do. So from now on, any time I need to manage my particular workspace, I just come into the command prompt, type in Databricks, followed by the various commands. I need to remember to put in my dash dash profile to make sure it's using the right configuration. Now there's a few other options that you can use. You can have a play around and have things like environment variables on your machine so that it knows how to automatically connect. But this is the first easiest way to start. Just use Databricks configure, give it a token, generate your workspace token and set it to a particular profile. And then you'll be able to connect and work with the CLI straight off. Okay, so hopefully that was useful. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll be back with some more advancing Databricks short videos to help you get started on your Databricks journey. Cheers.